If you look around the streets of Barcelona, there is quite a lot going on. Barriers marking limits on some roads, lots of colourful paint. Some barriers also act as public seating. Public seating on pedestrianised streets, bike lanes, children's play areas, vegetation and greenery. Barcelona streets have changed considerably over the past five or so years, and even more dramatically since the outbreak of the pandemic. The City Council, led by Mayor Ada Colau, has been invested in a process known as tactical urbanism, something that has had a huge impact on how people live and interact with their neighbourhoods. Tactical urbanism is the umbrella term to describe functional changes made to a city to alter the use of public space. It is usually a cheap, fast and even reversible way to alter the city's usage, and Barcelona has been doing a lot of it in recent years. Superies, or superblocks, pedestrianised squares, friendly to relax and socialise in where there was once heavy traffic, is a perfect example. Locals that we spoke to seem to enjoy them. I think that's very important for a big city to have places like this where people hang out and have also a lot of green spaces here. I really enjoy it, yeah. It's really nice to have the green around you, I think, and the trees and you can meet people there and you can chill. I think it's good. So I think even maybe if it complicates things in terms of parking, in terms of people getting to work or around Barcelona, um, I think it's a real bonus for the city. City councillors strongly back the benefits of their initiatives too. It's a study that reaffirms, evidently, that the superillas of Barcelona have positive effects on the life of people, on the health, on the well-being. However, not everybody is in agreement. Some nearby businesses complain of problems arising from the superblocks. Now, they take account that they can't pass through the street, they have to take a lot of time, everything is very difficult, and at the best, the usual client will come to look for a bag of bags, but they will not be able to get the same volume that they can do in a commercial center. It's going to be a lot of damage. It's going to be a lot of damage. I've seen people that have been robbed, that come to ask you, that... Todas estas cosas, todas estas cosas que han, yo creo que años atrás no. The whole concept of tactical urbanism has also come under fire from some city residents who complain of noisy works done late at night, the ugliness of some of the alterations, and the confusion that arises with so many markings on the ground. Sometimes it can be difficult to tell if a part of the road is designated for pedestrians, cyclists, scooter users, or vehicles, and this can lead to problems. The patinetes has a motor. They go faster than me or than a walker. Uh, it's a problem to me, really. So I have a crash with them every day because they come with nowhere and crossing high velocity. It is quite overwhelming sometimes. It's a lot happening, and uh, you have to find your way also on your bike. Siempre se va a generar algo de conflicto. A veces no tenemos espacio, los que andamos en patín para poder movilizarnos. Obvio, tenemos que invadir el espacio de los peatones, que es la acera. Pues todo con responsabilidad y con cuidado, pero siempre vamos a tener algún problema. The Superblocks and Tactical Urbanism Project as a whole are celebrated by those who spend their time in the neighbourhoods, but have not gone down that well with the businesses in the surrounding areas. As Barcelona plans to open more Superblocks in new areas in the near future, it seems the City Council has some way to go to solve issues of coexistence between everybody who shares roads and public space.